you go to everybody i'm i'm never the person that people come to first why because i'm the bad side of town it's this this the dooming this is the rough side of town over here don't you like when you go to a major city you got the good neighborhood and you got the bad neighborhood i'm on the bad side of town what you talking about mark you got all the you you really give the information what people need to hear no let me explain it to you this is the bad side of town instagram is the good side of town like if you're in chicago the instagram to a person who's coming to the into the trucking business i see you in the back room give me give me a minute let me hit this point for a new person that's coming into the trucking business that's shopping for information and knowledge on instagram that's like lincoln park in chicago or let's say rodeo drive in in, in california or calabasas let's say in california in l.a and, and i guess the good part of brooklyn in new york or brickle in miami why because the roses are red the violets are blue the lilies are purple everything is perfect the sidewalks look like they just was pressure washed you don't see any specks of dirt in the south the sidewalks look like a perfect gray like they was just either they just laid the cement or they just pressure washed it everything is great you know why because everything for the most part over there on that side of town is all good you hearing the things that you want to hear which gives you the motivation the encouragement and the excitement to go out and spend your money without doing any research because you think you are about to run up the bag oh time you being finesse now on this side of town on youtube you got this guy named mark the doom and gloom guy the the the, the, the dream crusher this is the name they gave me the dream crusher the accountability guy, the dream crusher. This is the rough side of town, right? You won't see, it, it can be sunny some days. Look, some days on this side of town, it look like it's going through a little gentrification. But then some days on this side of town, it look like O Block. So you really don't know what you're getting. It all depends. Sometimes when you come on this side of town, it may look like O Block. But then sometimes when you come over here, it look like, man, it's going through gentrification. They tearing down the projects. They building four-story houses with sky decks with overlooking the damn lake or the the, 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 skit, the city skyline with the sky deck roof. Built a four-floor, uh, two, three million dollar um, mansion. So when you come on this side of town, you don't know if you want to invest in, 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 invest into this information because one day it's, it's look like I see the BDs and the GDs moving out and I see white folks moving in. And then some days you like, damn, it look like four in them. It look like this four in the old block. I see the King Von mural across the street. So you go back over there where it's just all sunny all the time. But let me tell you something. Business ain't sunny all the time. That's why when you come on this side of town, it's like that. You don't know what you're going to get. You don't know if you're going to get old block. You don't know if you're going to get gentrification. Because that's business. One day you could be up. And tomorrow you could be having the worst day of your life. That's business. There's no finessing on this side of town. It's only the truth. Business is not roses and lilies and and, and 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 violets and all the women are a perfect coke bottle shape with fat asses and perky breast and for if you're a woman the guys are all muscular and when you like them six feet six you know and six figures it's not perfect in business like that 